Of the, United the States of America, of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we will do a roll call, and of those on the phone, uh, when we call your name, uh, uh, say it loud and clear so we can hear you on this end. Hi, everybody. Okay. It's Veronica, and I'm going to be doing roll call. A little louder. you got to be much louder. Can everybody hear me okay? <laughs> All right. Um, I'll go ahead and call your name, and I'll call it loudly, and I'll hesitate uh, to wait for you to reply. <coughs> Garola? Crump? Here. Was Garola Mc here? Garola, were you here? Yes, he was here. Thank you. McFarland? Okay, McFarland not here. Alvarado? Here. Thank you. Vallejo? Grace, I thought I heard you were here. Oh, I, I'm here. Oh, it's, thank it's you. It's kind of hard to make out what you're saying. But okay, I'll, I'll, say I'll say the first names also. I'll say the first names also. Maybe that'll help. Zach Scrivener? Zach yeah, Scrivener? Here, thank you. Okay, thank you. Cryer? Here. Mike Mauer? She's doing fine now. Here. Philip Smith? Here. Alex Garcia? Here. Bob Smith? I am here. Nicholas Sinovich? I am here. That was Lucinovich? Okay. No. Nicholas Sinovich? Oh, I'm here. Thank you. David Couch? Here. Cindy Parra? Here. Scott Kiernan? No Kiernan. Uh, Ryan Dermody? Okay, no District 9. And Laura Gordon? Here. Thank you, Laura. I, I'm here. Thank you. <coughs> okay, thank you, everyone. Okay. Uh, public comments of this portion of the meeting is reserved for persons to address the committee on any matter not on the agenda but under the jurisdiction of the committee. Committee members may respond briefly to statements made or question posed. They may ask a question for the data clarification, make a referral to staff for factual information, or request staff to report back to the committee at a later meeting. Speakers are limited to two minutes with the authority of the chair to extend the time limit as deemed appropriate for conducting the meeting. Please state your name and address for the record prior to making a presentation. Okay. 
Seeing none, uh, consent, uh, agenda, or, uh, an opportunity for a public uh, comment. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, if you could just ask if there's anyone on the phone from the okay. member who would like to comment. Is there anyone on the phone that would like to uh, make a comment? Hearing none. Um, item four, consent agenda opportunity for the public comment. All items on the consent agenda are considered to be routine and non-controversial by Kern Cog staff and will be approved by one motion if no member of the committee or public wishes to comment or ask questions. If comment or discussion is desired by anyone, the item will be removed from the consent agenda and will be considered in a listed sequence with the opportunity for any member of the public to address the committee concerning the item before action is taken. Uh, anyone? Uh, I make vote. make a motion to approve it. A second. Okay. Um, second. I got Grace. I believe was the second. Uh, who made the motion? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Roll call vote. Jose Garola. Yes. John Crum. Aye. Gilbert Alvarado? Here. Grace Vallejo? Yes. Zach Scrivener? Yes. Orshel Cryer? Yes. Mike Mauer? Yes. Philip Smith? Yes. Alex Garcia. Aye. Bob Smith. Yes. Nick Lisenovich. Aye. David Couch. Yes. Cindy Para. Yes. And Laura Gordon. Yes. Okay, um, Gilbert Alvarado, you approve the motion? I'm sorry, because yes. you, you said here, so I want to make sure you approve the motion. Yes. Thank you. I barely hear you, but yes. <laughs> sorry, uh, I'll yell. <laughs> okay. W would everybody, if you're not <clears throat> speaking, please uh, use the mute function so as to avoid any background noise? Yes, please, because I keep picking up all that background noise. Okay, so we got a <coughs> first and a second for the consent agenda. So, um, does anybody would wish to? Uh, the motion carries. It carries on the whole thing. So, please go direct to the move on to item five. On five. Okay. Number five, uh, Federal Transportation Improvement Program, Draft Amendment Number 11, Pacheco. Good evening, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Amendment Number 11 includes revisions to the Regional Service Transportation Program, Congestion Mitigation Air Quality Program, Transit Program, and Non-Motorized Program. The public review period ends March 20th. The Kern Cog Executive Director will consider approval of the amendment on March 23rd. State and federal approval is required. At this time, I ask the chair to please open the public hearing, allow for public comment, and then close the public hearing. Okay, we'll open the public hearing. Anyone from the public would like to speak on their behalf? Anyone would like to speak in favor? On the phone. Anybody on the phone would like to uh, uh, speak in, on uh, public comment for number f uh, item five for the Federal Transportation Improvement Program? Hearing none, I close the public uh, um, session. That's it. Thank <coughs> you very much, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you. I'm a little nervous here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next item, uh, board members uh, meeting report, uh, I believe there's none. 
uh, Calchan's report. Report on projects. Yes. Hello? Can yes. Can you hear me okay? Yes. We hear you. This is Roger. Okay. Uh, so uh, I just have a brief update on the construction projects, the weather. We've been a little slow. Um, uh, four, four, two, five, four, four. Um, on 46, uh, they are in the final stages, and um, we anticipate, still anticipating accepting that job in June. Uh, the uh, gap closure, um, they continue on uh, with work. We anticipate uh, cot westbound Cottonwood on-ramp to stay closed. Uh, lane may be closed from night at night from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. And we're still anticipating December 2020 uh, completion. Uh, on a staffing update, uh, we have a new, and I'm gonna read this title because it's very long, Deputy District Director of Project Management and Asset Management by the name of Nabila Abi Rashid. You may have known her from her previous role as our Environmental uh, Deputy District Director um, she wanted to be with you to meet with you guys tonight. So at the next meeting, when this situation, we can come in person. She's looking forward to the opportunity of greeting all of you and sharing her vision uh, to expand our, our partnering and our communication. Um, additionally, they completed interviews for the new district deputy director of planning and local, local assistance, and they hope to announced that by early April. Um, on the COVID-19 uh, COVID situation, um, I wanted to give you an update. In the midst of the rapidly unfolding nationwide health emergency, uh, due to the COVID-19 health emergency, Caltrans District 6 are preparing to rem work remotely. While there may be some delay in our response times, we continue to be available via email and are committed to project delivery and maintaining our quality customer service. As you know, this is a very fluid situation and conditions change. If they do, we will send out additional communication if and when things change. As of this hour, FHWA California Division Local Assistance has reached out to FHWA California Division They've indicated they are working on a response to address the need for allowing flexibility currently and will let us know nothing so far. We all know we have deadlines and we are hoping for some relief. CTC allocation and extension request. The March meeting is still currently scheduled to take place later this month via some of remote participation methods. We will see what happens from the commissions as things evolve. So far, no word of any process changes at this time or extensions to current schedule. Um, Caltrans Local Assistance Headquarters, Ray Zhang uh, recently retired, and so we have a pretty big hole there right now. There's new management at headquarters, and things are very much in flux and providing real direction and answers so far, but focus on keeping core functions going and providing information on flexibility allowances in a timely manner. We also will be available if needed for conference calls. As always, feel free to reach out and call if I can be of any of assistance or any of the staff. Um, I will be available by phone and email. We thank you in advance for your patience and understanding. 
And as more information becomes available, I will share it with Aaron to make sure all of you hear what's going on in the Caltrans world. And that's all I have if anybody has any questions for me. Well, this is Bob Smith. Yes, Bob. Can you hear me? Yeah, I just yes, I can hear you. Say thank you uh, for the response on my comments last time. Uh, there was a meeting, and it looks like we're going to get something done on Union Avenue uh, 204 and also at the interchange of uh, 58 and 99 as far as bicycle striping and, and better safety for bicycle pedestrians, and I appreciate that. Well, thank you. I was I apologize I couldn't be on the meeting. I was on vacation, but I heard I did check in and I heard it went well. Hi, Laura. This is Cindy. I was I attended that meeting and yeah, it went very well. I thought it was very positive, and I that is the quickest response I think we have ever had from a comment or a question that we had here on this uh, committee, this board. So I, I thank you once again, too, and, and I really feel a change in culture at Caltrans for the better. Thank you. And if I could add. Thank you. I appreciate that. And thank Aaron, too, because he made sure you got on that agenda, on that um, invite list. Teamwork. And I just want to add, there was a death in that area that we're looking at less than a week after that meeting. So that just stresses how much uh, this cooperation between all the agencies is needed. Thank you. I, I'm sorry to hear that, but hopefully we can avoid these things in the future. Well, thank you very much. Anybody have anything else for me? Nope. Uh, I think everything's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Now we go to the executive director's report. Good evening, Mr. Chairman and board members. I'll make my comments very brief. Next week, March 25th and 26th, the California Transportation Commission will be meeting. Their meeting will be held exclusively by teleconference. April 29th, uh, 2020, there is currently a joint CTC and uh, California Air Resources Board meeting scheduled. I, if that meeting is held, we will listen in, and it will, is most likely to be held via teleconference only. May 14th, 13th and 14th, California Transportation Commission in San Diego is still plan is, is still going to be held at this point. If it uh, it is likely that it will be held um, via teleconference only, and it will not be physically in San Diego. Um, all in-person training that Caltrans has offered both to local agencies, consultants, and uh, amongst themselves has been postponed to at least May 30th. That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, any member statement? <clears throat> Hearing none, I'll adjourn uh, this uh, portion of the transportation plan uh, policy meeting. And the next one will be on April 16th. Uh, we'll go now into our uh, current uh, Council of Government. Uh, we need to do roll call. I'm going to do roll call again just in case anyone got dropped. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Delano can hear you. Okay, good. Thank you. Here we go. Jose Garola. Present. John Crump. Here. Gilbert Alvarado. Here. Grace Vallejo. Here. Zach Scrivener. Here. Orshel Cryer. Mike Maurer. Here. Philip Smith. Here. Alex Garcia. Here. Bob Smith. I'm here. 
Nick Lisinovich. I'm here. David Couch. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, again, public comments. This portion of the meeting is reserved for persons to address the council on any matter not on the agenda but under the jurisdiction of the council. Council members may respond briefly to statements made or questions posed. They may ask the question for clarification, make a referral to staff for factual information, or to request staff to report back to the council at a later meeting. Speakers are limited to two minutes. Please state your name and address for the record prior to making a presentation. Anyone um, in, a in the audience or on the phone uh, have any uh, public comment? Hearing none, I close public comment. Uh, consent uh, agenda for an uh, opportunity for the public comment. <clears throat> All items on the uh, consent agenda are considered to be routine and non-controversial by current COG staff and will be approved by one motion. If no motion the council or public wishes to comment or ask questions. And if comment or discussion is desired by anyone, the item will be removed from the constant calendar agenda and will be considered in a listed sequence with the opportunity for any member of the public to address the council concerning the item be before action is taken. We have, we have a motion. So Make a motion for items A through E. Okay, John Crump. I'll second it. This is Vallejo. Thank you, Grace. Okay. Roll call vote. Roll call. Go ahead. Jose Garola. Yes. Yeah. John Crump. Aye. Gilbert Alvarado. Yes. Yeah. Grace Vallejo. Yes. Yeah. Zach Scrivener. Yes. Yeah. Orshel Pryor. Yes. Mike Mauer. Yes. Philip Smith? Yes. Alex Garcia? Yes. Bob Smith? Yes. Nick Lucinovich? Aye. And David Couch? Yes. Thank you. It passes. Okay, uh, I number four. Appointments of community at large members to the Regional Planning Advisory Committee. Napier? Yes. Uh, is, this on? is this on? Can you hear me? Okay. Um, the Regional Planning Advisory Committee bylaws provide for appointment of three at large members representing varied economic, social, and geographic sectors of Kern County. The board, we have three appointments open, and the board received four applications. The applications have all been reviewed by the executive director, and all applicants are deemed to be um, eligible. The applicants are Derek Abbott. He's the vice president of community development and resource planning for Tahome Ranch. Asha Chandy, who is the program manager for Bike Bakersfield. Asha currently sits on the um, RPAC. Eric Donnans is asset manager for Grade 6 Oil, and he also currently sits on the RPAC. Um, those two are, are eligible to remain. Um, and Jose Luis Gonzalez, an area manager for Self-Help Federal Credit Union. Um, if the board wishes to, they may make three appointments tonight, or we are also giving yeah. you the opportunity if you would like to postpone this. Um, Till the full board maybe can be in person. <laughs> so I'll just leave that up to the board. Thank you. And mm -hmm. I'll answer any questions if you have any. Mr. Chair, I kind of went, was going in and out, and so it was hard to he catch everything that you said. For after the first two names, it was difficult because it was like it was going away from the microphone or something really clear, and then it kind of muffled out. Well, this yes. is Bob Smith. This is Bob Smith. I'd, I'd like to postpone the vote until the next meeting. I'd, I'd make that motion. Uh, I'll second uh, it. I, I have a, uh, a question, Mr. Chair. This is Jose Garola. 
Go ahead. Um, okay. I, just asking for clarification from staff. Uh, is it one of the requirements not to be a member of an elected body or appointed to any elected body or LAFCO? Yes. Yes, that's correct. And I think uh, Jose, Jose Luis Gonzalez listed on his resume that he is a member uh, of LAFCO. Okay. We'll, we'll, look into it. We will. We'll, we'll look into that. I don't recall that. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I agree with the motion, so there's a motion in a second. Chief do Aye. Opposed? Aye. Any opposed? Motion. The motion carries. We'll be <clears throat> postponed to the next um, meeting. The elections, uh, number five, elections of officers. Um, each March, the Kern County Government uh, Board of Directors selects a chairman and a vice chairman for Kern COG. Um, okay. uh, yes, this. Uh, this is uh, Phil. I would like to nom uh, nominate uh, Bob Smith and uh, Zach. And just keep this, the two members in the same positions for the next for the next round. Is that a motion? Yeah, that's a motion to uh, keep uh, the same two chairman and vice chairman as they are presently. I'll, I'll second that. This is Mauer. Okay, we'll do a voice vote. We can do voice vote. Oh. Uh, is there any other uh, nominations from the floor? Or, uh, I nominate Orschel Cryer for um, vice chair. <clears throat> okay, there's, a, there's two motions. Um, do we need a second? Yes, we do need. Is there a second on John Crump's motion for Orschel Cryer for uh, vice chair? Thank you, people. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again. So, there's an initial. We'll just go ahead and vote on the. Mr. Uh, Chairman? We'll vote for. Go ahead. It's a baby cow. Yeah, if we're going to have um, multiple nominations, is there any problem with us postponing this one until our next meeting? That would be fine. But, um, but we can I agree with that. I'll second that motion. But you, you please, please clarify that the, the second motion did not get seconded, okay. so there's only one, one motion on the table. Go ahead. The, the second motion well, for Orschel Cryer did not get a second. So the only motion. Well, I'll, I'll second it. So we have two motions now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, assuming uh, Supervisor Couch moves to uh, continue this, I'll second that motion. And I would make that, that is motion. That that is that Mr. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So we'll, we'll just postpone. We'll postpone, we'll postpone to the next that. meeting. And, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, next on the item is transportation authority, which is none. Uh, congestion management agency, none. Current motorist and authority, none. And meeting reports, none. Uh, now we're down to Aaron, uh, executive director's report. Good evening again, Mr. Chairman and board members. I'll try to be brief on this one also. Regional awards ceremony um, was very successful. It was held two weeks ago. Thank you uh, for all of you that attended. Thank you f to Supervisor Scrivener uh, for being the master of ceremonies. It went very well. March 10th and 11th um, was a Valley Voice trip to Sacramento. Supervisor Scrivener, Council Member Kathy Prout, and I attended. It was uh, a very successful trip, the most successful trip in about the last uh, four years and it was probably one of the last trips to the capital before they they closed it down the calcog regional forum that was due to be held april 5th to 7th in riverside has been canceled 
the May 13th to 15th San Joaquin Valley Policy Conference in Bass Lake has also been canceled. Uh, as a reminder, your Form 700s are still due April 1st. Uh, some of you have been stopping by the office. You can mail those in uh, if that is easier for you. In your folder this evening is the timeline covering March, April, and May, current COG news and events, cash disbursements for the month of February. And just uh, very quickly, uh, Kern Cog as an organization, about half of our employees are telecommuting. We have less than 10 staff coming into the office. Uh, Ms. Napier just let me know that the governor has ordered everyone statewide to stay home. So we will be shutting the doors effective tomorrow morning. We will still continue to work. You can still re reach us at the office phone numbers. They'll roll over to our cell phones. Um, or um, if you have our cell phones, you can re uh, reach us there. We will continue to do our best to uh, conduct business and uh, support our member agencies. Thank you um, all for being patient tonight. This is the first time we've ever conducted a meeting via teleconference. It sure looks like our next meeting will be 100% by teleconference. And uh, if you haven't seen, the governor has issued two, uh, two executive or orders regarding the Brown Act that essentially waive almost all the provisions of the Brown Act. There is no longer a requirement that there be a physical location um, for the public to comment at, at a meeting. You can, we, you can in, at all of your meetings, conduct meetings 100% uh, telephonically. Um, subject to any of your questions, that concludes um, uh, my remarks. Uh, but let me, add, let me just add one more thing. I will, I will be in touch and staff will be in touch on how uh, we will conduct the next meeting if we have the next meeting. If, um, if there is not that much on the agenda that is critical, we may uh, postpone the next meeting. Thank you, Aaron. Any um, member statements? Uh, this is Phil. Uh, the uh, when you were doing the uh, Becky and Aaron, your presentations and your statements were fading in and out. It was very difficult to hear, but we could get the gist of it. So, just the technology part of the meeting next time will have to be probably just kind of looked at into. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? This is Grace Vallejo out of Delano. I just also wanted to add the comment uh, that the uh, awards night was done very well against Scrivener. Yes, you did a great job as the master of ceremonies. I think everybody enjoyed it, but I especially want to thank all the staff uh, that did the job out there because they were doing a good job of seating us, having us find where we were to sit and um, it went very well. So thank you to the staff. Thank, thank you, Grace. Grace. I appreciate that. This is Zach. Zach, you did an excellent job. Uh, it was it was an excellent program. Uh, everybody enjoyed themselves. Uh, it was it was a uh, fantastic. Maybe had a, a full house. Well, it, it helps when staff is uh, does such a great job and, and gave me a very good script. So I appreciate, I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, Jack, again. Any more other comments uh, the public may have? Or? Okay. I will close uh, our meeting uh, till um, April 16th, if we still have one coming. It was not canceled, or we did all by teleprompter, so I adjourn. Thank you.